Systems updates are... The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Can't relax yet. The Initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Do you have just a minute? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Director Tan loved the first broadcast. Sent a contribution for your expenses. Thanks. Hmm. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. isn't what we want. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutiae. 
All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure.
residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson, and the initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the scourge. Official tribute is planned, though director Jared Tan has Maintenance crews, please report to the commons area. Pathfinder. Wow. I'm Davis Carr, Elias News Service. Maybe you've heard my voice over the vids. I'm trying to file a story right now, but hey. H&S, huh? Where are the rest of you? I had an editor, but it's crazy out here. Now, beyond a freelancer or two, I'm it. All that stands between freedom and tyranny, or something. I haven't had much sleep. I met another journalist, Carrie Tavessa. Yeah, we're running Carrie's series, Path of a Hero. Good stuff. I'm mostly on my own, so pretty much anyone who brings me news is welcome. Content is king, and her content is really touching a nerve. Talk to you later, Davis. Hey, Ryder, before you go, I hate to ask, but it seems like your job takes you all over, the places we can't broadcast yet. If I send receivers to your ship, would you mind placing them on some planets? It'll help get news out to even the most far-flung colonists. What do you need from me, exactly? I'm digging up good stories here, but not a lot of people beyond the Nexus can hear them. Our long-distance transmitter sends package data between ships and even planet side, provided there's a receiver on the other end. I need someone to place receivers and boost our signal. We only have a few, so they need to go on planets with people. Okay, Davis. I'll help you get set up. Great. Just place a receiver near an outpost, and they'll get our reports. A reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain in effect. It's you! You're the human Pathfinder! I'm Sid, Vetra's sister. Vetra's told me all about you. Well, not all about you, but the important bits. I should probably get back to work. It was real nice meeting you, though. What work do you do? Oh, I just monitor comp. Note it down, pass on a... Important? I know. It's nice to hand in a report and... I'll let... You, Pathfinder, I have a word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder.
Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes. You will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. That's all for now. Of course. Welcome back, Scott. What more can you tell me about- This raw data enables me to provide- Then Dad- You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just- Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. Me more than you. What are your- Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, 
matrix. Each of the exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. That's all for now. Pathfinder? Have to go now. See you later. You be careful out there. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told him to keep... Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was right about going planetside, though. I wish you were still here. You'll do fine. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Thanks for the talk. Good luck, Captain. As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is h &S. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. 
That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah. I know, Dad. He probably said, she'll live. I went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times he yelled at you so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. That's fantastic. So many things could have gone wrong. Now I've got a reason to get out of this. You can't have all the fun. There's plenty of hard work, too. It's what I signed up for. I should be helping you guys. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. Tell Dad to save some for me. There's a mountain out there and needs naming. It's mine. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. It's okay. Take a deep breath when you're angry. In some ways, that's true. related to cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities baffled. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS.
so glad I went. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. There could be a ship, or even turbulence in the Scourge. Given the complexity and the security implication. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Another power short. Another power short. Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Please have a... Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the... Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. The Nexus is a place of friendship and... Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We're glad you could... We, uh, need to explain you. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders. But it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Thanks. Of course. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. They're happy to answer any questions. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda. Yearning only for a land they can call home. 
If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the culture. Greetings, inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. Maybe later. We hope you'll enjoy learning. Certainly. Feel free to return when you have a moment. Female, please. Very well said. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be highlighted? Exploration and discovery or first contact with new species? Let's go with exploration and discovery. Very well said. Next, should I emphasize the role of the Pathfinder team or their partner AI? Go with the Pathfinder's team. I want you to give career advice. Setup complete. Would you like to keep these settings? It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information, VI. Implementing changes. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. They're happy to answer any questions you may have and eager to learn. Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's... available, would you? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh, never mind. Just a... Tell him I said hi, huh? Just when I've balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedlings. Are you always this rude to people? Only when a mistake could... What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is... 
We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. I know what surprise resp So I hear. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Bring me any plants you find. pool of ingredients keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks and we'll let you test them for free right I get a feeling the testing will be interesting don't worry Dutch may complain a lot but he's loving it and he's the best chemist I know you're in good hands Shaping up, Pathfinder. Resources flowing in, sleep is ready to head out. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. Feels good, right? I feel it, Liam. There we go. Getting our sh If I keep. times have I told you this story? 343. Ryder, can you believe this place? One space station slightly dented? You should have seen it a year ago. It was more than just dented. Anyway, thanks for bringing me on. Tan can't kick me off the station now, and it's been nice seeing my granddaughter again. The two of you seem close. It's been Kesha me against the galaxy the moment I got her. Well, maybe not as much now, but it sure was early on. Pathfinder, I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power shortages. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it.
uprising. Welcome back, Scott. Dr. Aradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Religious code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to countermand religious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction, or...? Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Start building a bank of vaccines once we get more biomaterial. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I. Never! I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence?
synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. Everything's uncertain. Maybe they just want to feel safer. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The eye kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly. Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked a Venus as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jam in your head. You sent that virus to free me from Sam? Not just me. Our movement. And we couldn't let you suffer with that thing in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Hello? Ryder? Yes, I... I can't believe I'm free. Thank you. This is what our movement is for. Helping people like you. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but... Watch your email. Bye. It could be worse. A whole movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. Hello. She and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. Hello. We need to find them. Did you know Death murdered billions of Quarians in the morning war? Gil wanted you to check in. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. 
while I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Hello, Scott. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. But you succeeded on Eos, despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the diff you have grown as a result. 
And so have I. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. And don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Uh, don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Kesh said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. The cat makes sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Hey, I'm in storage if you need me. Anything held together with Omni. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Is Ryder there? Hey, Ryder. You know each other? We met on the Nexus. Oh, really? Did you embarrass me, Sid? No, I definitely didn't tell the Pathfinder all your disgusting habits. Terraforming Atmo processors. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about. <laughs> Point. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. Good. Since you're probably gonna have front. Looking forward to the show. Have anyone else here? No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Oh. Um, anyway. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative. You just have to figure out who. And what they're willing to take in exchange. That just sounds like you're taking advantage. Is it? I get people what they want. And they do want. Or they wouldn't pay. You probably have You know where to find me. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. 
not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my Alliance career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here? Everything's new. And I want to see it all. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We can't go back. But we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. But keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Can you drop by the bio lab? Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain someones. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. 
Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too.